We're going through a series called Uncomplicate Christmas. Christmas is complicated. It kind of doesn't fit with the idea of this being the most wonderful time of the year because many people's circumstances are very poor and they don't seem to match up with a celebration or a party. But there is a way to uncomplicate it. In this series, we're looking a lot at the birth of Jesus and a lot at our own lives. One of the things about Jesus' birth and the birth stories is you're torn with wondering, why would you go through this process? Why didn't you just come down a mountain? Why weren't you found next to a burning bush wrapped in swaddling clothes? Because the birth process is complicated, it doesn't always work, and it's so scary. In fact, it was so scary and I knew so many of the risks involved, I didn't even want to see a birth until it was one of my own children. And I had that lingering fear that always happens that I'm going to be the guy that when I see my child come out and they're born, that I'm going to see all the blood and all the stuff and I'm just going to pass out. Luckily, and fortunately for my family, uh, I didn't pass out. But that didn't make it any less unbelievable that the Son of God would choose to enter this world as a humble baby because you are in no control whatsoever. And that became very clear to me in our lives. We have four children and only three living. And uh, I remember we went in for Erickson or Ricky's, one of her ultrasounds, and all of the prior ones, she'd been, had a heartbeat and she was doing great. And then we walked in and you could just see it once they started the ultrasound, you could see it on the face of the technician. And we knew her and the fear that came over her face. She just kept saying, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I, I just froze. I knew how not in control we were. When you're not in control, you turn to that which is stable, that which is solid. And so Steph and I were there and we just immediately started praying. Nobody had to tell us. It, 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 when you reach that place that you've got nothing, no power, no abilities, which is truly always the case. When you reach that point, you surrender. You can be stubborn and not do it. But we surrendered to the Lord. We prayed for Ricky to be risen from the dead. We did that for a while, and then we started praying for each other. We prayed for telling our children, our living children. It's overwhelming. But to not be in control and to not know the one who is in control, that's worse. And so on this upcoming Sunday, we're gonna talk about that element of being in control we're gonna talk about that element of what it looks like to surrender. And during this entire time when things are more out of control, we have the chance to become closer and more familiar with he who is, Jesus, who came into this world as what would seem like a fragile child. But from the moment he was born, his eyes were on the Father. Hope you can join us on Sunday at 10 a.m. You can uh, find us by going to the website, branchesoc.com. And uh, you've given, been given a trailer version of this message, and we'll be doing the full one on Sunday as well as celebrating Advent and all that God has done. May God bless you.